this video, I'm going to be giving you not just the basics, but I'm going to give you the most important pieces that you need to know about carb cycling. And stay tuned until the end because I'm going to give you a free how-to that, guys, I've not heard anybody else talking about this. I've yet to find another YouTube video that talks about it and all of my hours of research that I've put into it. I'm just like condensing it all down and I'm going to give you the most easy how-to that you're not going to find anywhere else. Welcome back to Confessions of a Health Coach. If you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe. My name is Sarah Adams. I'm a certified nutrition and life coach and really just an authority in living a healthy but balanced life. My goal is to remove all of the confusion and overwhelm that comes along with nutrition and healthy living, make it not just doable for you, but make it enjoyable as well. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about carb cycling. It's a super popular subject in the um, athletic world, but it's really starting to become mainstream with everyday users. And the reason that I love it is it's a way that I can eat high carb foods, I can eat high fat foods. I don't have to eliminate anything out of my diet. I just have to choose when I eat it, hence carb cycling, and that way I'm not deprived and I can still lose weight or maintain a healthy lifestyle. So before we talk about carb cycling, you need to know what a carb is. It's part of your macros. Your macros are your fats, your carbohydrates, and your proteins. And I'm not gonna take the time in this video to talk about it, but make sure to check out the show notes. I will link up a video on macros and head over to my Facebook page when we're done too, because I'm constantly reaffirming macros. We talk about macros versus calories. We talk about nutrients versus deprivation. So again, it's just a healthier way of living. So what is carb cycling? Carb cycling is where you choose either a high, moderate, or low consumption of carbs, meaning you're taking in either a small amount of carbs, moderate or high amount of carbs in a day, and you cycle through that. So there's a lot of different ways to do it, um, different sequences that you can do. Here's something that's really important to know about low carb dieting. Sure, if you go low carb, you will drop weight fast. For every gram of carbohydrate your body retains, it requires four grams of water to keep it there. So you're gonna drop some weight quickly, and what's gonna happen is you are gonna start burning fat as well. However, your body's gonna catch on to that pretty quickly, and it's gonna to start to slow the metabolism to match the amount of energy that you're bringing in. Let me give you another visual. So when you take in carbohydrates, your body breaks it down as fuel. It's called glucose, and so your body then shuttles it over to your muscles. Imagine those as like a storage tank. And if those storage tanks are full, meaning you haven't burned off that energy, it's gonna say, hmm, these are full, let's put it in our reserve storage tank, which is your fat cell. And so if you eat a lot of carbs and you start to gain weight, it's because that's, that fuel is coming in, it's not needed in the energy tank, so it's spilling over into the fat storage. So what happens when you do low carb dieting is you deplete those fuel tanks so that your body has to start tapping into its reserves, the fat cell. But your body knows that you're not getting in a lot of fuel. And so it's gonna start to think, hmm, we're going into a season here where we're not gonna have a lot of fuel. We better just slow that metabolism down so that we don't burn too much. So even after just a few short days of low carb dieting, your metabolism starts to slow down. So by doing some low carb and then some high carb days, you're reaping the benefits of low carb dieting, but without the detriment of slowing your metabolism and getting to a point where with low carb dieting, you'll be so low in your calories and your carbohydrates, your body has kind of matched that and then you will plateau and you won't have anywhere to go from there. A lot of clients I find are actually under eating because they've just worked themselves down to their metabolism is always only running off of this very minimal amount. So here's what you need to know about how to carb cycle is you're gonna keep your proteins about the same. You're gonna keep your green veggies about the same, but your carb-based foods, such as fruits and grains, they're gonna stay low on your low carb days. They're gonna stay moderate in your moderate, and you're gonna have lots of those on your high carb days. So on those high carb days, you get to have 
the breads, the pastas, the sweet potatoes, um, a little bit of sugar if you want to. Again, don't aim for 100% you're setting yourself up for failure. So keep it clean as much as possible, but you can have that wiggle room to have some of those more decadent foods. So I like to do some high carb days on the weekends because that's when I know I'm gonna be eating out a little bit more with friends, having the dinner roll with the dinner. Your low carb days, you're not gonna be getting as near as many of those carb based foods, but instead you get to have fats. And that's a beautiful thing because your calories are gonna be about the same throughout the entire week, the, the same days. Um, but instead of having your calories from the carbs, you're having it from fat. So on those low carb days, you're gonna feel satiated. You're not gonna be super antsy as you may feel on a low carb diet because traditionally people just go lean and green. They do protein and greens. They don't put the healthy fats in. And so you're putting those fats into your body and it's gonna stabilize your blood sugar. It's gonna um, be brain, good brain food for you and it's gonna help fuel your hormones so many great benefits to it. Again, I talk a lot more about that in the macros. So here's the problem with carb cycling is most people have no idea how many macros they actually should be taking in the day. And I've spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars of hiring coaches and working with them one-on-one -on -one and tracking my food and measuring everything and putting into the apps and doing check-in calls to figure out, am I on point? So first off, I'm going to invite you to go to becomealifer.com. Check out the show notes, becomealifer.com for just $10 a month. You can be part of my community, my life style community you can be an official lifer and there are recordings in the archives of all of the videos that I've done with my group one-to-one -one about macros and about carb cycling and I give you all the nitty-gritty and the best part is we do challenges together and it's a place you can ask questions at any time and know that you're getting sound expert advice plus the community is amazing too to hear from everybody else their own pros and cons and you get a lot of really great quality feedback again it's becomealifer.com but here's what i want to give you for free the easiest way to start to start with your carb cycling is to simply take your meals and decide if it's a low carb day, have only protein, green veggies, and fats. Don't worry, there's gonna be some residual carbs in some of those foods. For example, an avocado is a healthy fat. There are carbs in it though, but it's predominantly a fat-based food. So just count it as a fat. But on your high carb days, take out the avocado but add in the sweet potato or bread or a piece of cake if you want. And so by just simply, this is the kicker guys, by simply just choosing is it a high or a low carb day, you're just gonna remove the carb based foods on your low carb day and replace them with fats. And on the high carb day, pull out some of the calories by removing the fats but put in the carbohydrates. Again, there's still gonna be some residual fats in there, but by cycling through, you're gonna have some high fat, low carb days, and then some high carb, a low fat days, and you will certainly start to hack that fat burning system for yourself. There's a little bit more that we can go into detail. If you wanna become a lifer and get that those details, go to becomealifer.com. And I'd be more than happy to give you my favorite cycles as far as how many days of low carb and how many days of high carb. We also have amazing lists of foods, so your grocery shopping list, so you'll know exactly what is a high carb food, what is a low carb food, what is a high protein food, what is a high fat food, and you can get all of those resources in our community. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give the thumbs up share it with a friend. It really supports my channel. Leave comments below. I love to read them. And thank you for watching guys.